Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Magic Legends, the new action RPG game. It's going to be my first impressions. I'll give you guys my thoughts on the game. But first off, for any of you guys that did want to go ahead and have access to the game right now, um, there is a code that you can enter in to access it right now, but it will be going into open beta later this week. But uh, nonetheless, Let's go ahead and hop right in. So keep in mind, this is like kind of pre-beta because this is like technically closed, but it will be going into open beta, even though it says welcome to open beta. Technically, that doesn't go live until later. Uh, but anyways, let's hop right into it. So first off, let's create a new Planeswalker. I actually haven't played the game myself, but I did hop in just to do some audio level testing. But um, here are the classes in the game, and you won't be locked to just playing one class. So you can actually unlock and swap different, uh, I guess, classes while you're still playing in the game, which is gonna be interesting to see how it works. But uh, let's go and show off all the classes. So we have the Geomancer, which kind of looks like to be more of your melee brawler type of class. And then we have the Beast Caller, which uh, is going to be able to utilize an ax and uh, it will be also able to uh, call in some allies, which will be cool as well. I'm not sure if this is going to be like a ranger class, but it also showed off some um, ranged attacks as well. And then we have what looks like to be the healer, which is the sanctifier, uh, but you can still deal damage uh, as well. And then we have the mind mage. So this is going to be our caster class, it looks like. And then we have a necromancer for the final class. Now, they do plan to have more classes in the future, but... Uh, that's what we have access to, at least as of right now. So let's go and uh, hop right in. I'm gonna go create a Necromancer because I think that uh, a lot of people like that class. Uh, so let's also customize it. Another important thing that I was wondering myself is, are the classes uh, gender locked? And the answer is no, they're not gender locked. So we'll select this one. We'll go through a couple of the different uh, presets for the, uh, the face as well. So you guys can get some variety in here. see all of them. Okay, we can't be like blue or anything. So we do have, oh, you don't actually have to click on them. You can just like hover over it and it will change for you. Okay. All right. And then we have different hairstyles. Okay, let's maybe rotate it so we can actually see. Now you can't uh, zoom in at least on the character creation. So we have a few options. I mean, Heck, this is probably more customization than a lot of action RPGs anyways, but I, I would still like to see a little bit more. Hopefully, you know, even as a microtransaction, you know, I, I don't mind it if it's just hairstyle. Oh, you can actually be completely bald too. All right, so those are the options for our uh, hairstyle. And that's it for the physical appearance. So we have body, uh, body, face, skin, and the hair. So I'd say it's a minimal uh, area, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. But you can change your name. It says visit the store, so I'm guessing that's not a type of microtransaction, but uh, not a big deal for me in terms of like um, having that as a monetized form of content. But also, another thing I'll mention that might be important for some of you guys is what is the file size? It is 11 gigs. But yeah, we'll, we'll watch all, all the cinematics. In the tapestry as a purpose. the etheric lens can do i know what you told your guild master and that's all i need to know so a stalker and an eavesdropper and your death if you get in my way is that supposed to be a threat <laughs> oh, another planeswalker A turned back is as good as stolen breath. Ah! 
right. So at the start, I'm, I'm not sure um, if it's gonna keep my settings. Like I said, I did some audio level testing. Uh, so yeah, it, it changes the settings, I guess, for each uh, planeswalker that you have. So you move with WASD, but most people that play action RPGs probably wanna go ahead and set that uh, for the mouse base movement so you can move uh, with that. Um, so let's see, these are the controls uh, if you wanted to see what these look like. Um, but also I just noticed as soon as we hit escape, there is a, something called wallet. So there's different forms of currency uh, and you can exchange currency as well. Oh, okay. So it looks like it says refined today. I'm not sure if this is a limiter in terms of like how much you can do things. It might not even be that big of a deal because it's like such a high number. But uh, yeah, I like to play a lot of action RPGs if this is your first time here. We play Diablo, Path of Exile, so I'll be kind of reviewing and giving you guys some feedback based off of other action RPGs so you guys can feel like kind of more at home in terms of like comparison. But this is my first time uh, hopping into it. I won't go over all of the dialogue. I'll just kind of select and skip it. Feel free to pause it if you wish. But I'm just here to kind of check out the game in its beta state. So in terms of like the, the movement, like I mean, it feels responsive here. I wish you could zoom in so I can see the game's visuals, but I think it looks perfectly fine. I don't recognize the magic surrounding this barrier, but I'm sure I can get it open. But I'm wondering if we can have a uh, button on the key keyboard to actually be like force move. If that makes any sense. Um, I guess the the keyboard based movement technically allows you to do it. Um, okay, so you can rotate the. Is there um, okay? So there's spells one two three. And there is, unless it says like, oh, wait, here we go. Ah, here we, yes. This is exactly what we want. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> this is what I like for action RPGs. It's a little bit strange of a control scheme, but I like it more. I'm allergic to pollen, so let's just go the other way, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, our deal. You are a planeswalker. You have a spark of sorts inside of you. When that spark ignites, it grants you unique abilities and enables you to travel between worlds. Oh, I actually have to go activate that. <laughs> You'll get used to planeswalking. For now, why don't you show me what you can do? Tip to activate. Oh, you know what? It probably is like the, the, the default key and I probably overrode it with the, uh, the key binds. Of like, oh yeah, secondary ability. I just want to, can I just use one, two, three? Or are these bound to something else? Oh, that's spell one, two, three. Uh, let's just use C. Okay, yeah, it was. That was pretty cool. Got any other tricks? Okay. You remind me of someone. Oh, more of her plant things? Use your abilities to handle them and I'll get the bear plant. So I'm guessing this consumes our our minions, and then we get to do like a AOE Nova. Okay, that's cool. Is there like shift? Oh, there is shift. Uh, so you can hold in place and attack. You're keeping up well, so maybe it's time to teach you some magic. I happen to be something of an expert. Spells come in different forms. Sorceries, for example, are spells that directly aid allies or harm foes. Okay, so I only get, oh, I get both of them. So we have butchery deals uh, a set amount of damage to foes in a cone, and then critical deal 100% additional damage to foes with 50% or less health. And then we have Wailing Soul, Sorcery Condition, deal 265 damage to foes in a line, then create a hazard that deals 397 damage to foes inside of over 10 seconds. Foes in the hazard have lesser snare. Okay, so also on top of this, those numbers can change. I believe you can upgrade your like cards or your spells in this game. Some spells work in combination with others to produce powerful effects. A practice on our guests while I tend to the next barrier. Okay, wants me to move exactly to the location? Uh, well. 
visually, I, I like where the game is going for like the art direction. I'm sure you've noticed. There, it's down. Let's keep moving. Now you're catching on quickly, but power is just potential if you don't give it direction. Many sorceries can be aimed strategically at a specific target or two, or ten. Here, I'll conjure up some targets for you. Let's see what you've got. Uh, hold button to show target. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Ah, that, that's awesome. You can really, like, really target your stuff. What timing? More guests. I do like how the basic attack isn't just one animation. It seems like there's like a string combo. I'm not sure if like the third attack does something different. Just so the game feels a little bit better. I like it. Nice work. You'll accumulate mana during fights. Remember to pace your casting or you'll run out. So it looks like this costs two. Or it costs one plus two of the, uh, maybe perhaps that, like, color of the mana. I'm not sure, like, the mechanics yet, but I'm sure it has something to do with that. How kind of her. Uh, she's quite the summoner, whoever she is. Now, where was I? You can also learn creature spells, which summon forth beings to fight by your side. But in terms of like my impressions on the game and like the, like an early feel for the game, it feels like okay. Um, but there's nothing where I would say it feels super next gen, at least not yet. I think that has to do more with like the deck or skill building. Your available okay. spells will shift. Casting a spell removes it from your hand. Okay, random so spell. Okay. Your feet so and use what you've got. Okay. So if I remember correctly, you can have 12 spells, but only four get equipped at a random interval because when you use them, it replaces it from your deck. It that's like the um, Go ahead and try the uniqueness of um, this game. Something's coming. You may want to summon a creature to welcome them. And I want to see the itemization too. Like I want to see the complexity. I want to see uniques. You know, all those good things with action RPGs. Oh, I'd say the animation counseling is okay in this game too. Which to me, that's a very important feature. You're already coming into your own. <laughs> Good. Uh, under a sorcery control, root a target for two seconds to deal damage. Okay. I think the only important one is like the axe, as of right now, it needs to kind of be timed when they're under, you know, a certain threshold that deals more damage. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's like it's just skills to deal damage. But I like it when there's ones where you want to use it at a certain interval that, you know, incorporates more of a. I, I should think I before got using what I this. Came here for. So this is where we say goodbye. I'm also wondering if you have the same copies of certain skills in your deck, but I don't even know if there's a limit. There's a lot of things that I want to know about this game as well. But we'll see. I'm 
digging the Necromancer, though. If I consume it, will it consume the, uh... There we go. Oh, so it doesn't consume the summoned ones from our, like, spell bar? It, it, it uses the grave up you, which is like our... I don't know. I almost want to call it an innate, innate skill. Like you had in Diablo 1 where, like, you just get these no matter what, but then you have these cards. So, like, this is what separates, um... Wait, what's that? your class from another. I think you can cross combine de deck colors too, which is something that, again, that's where the game becomes interesting to me. It's like a boss. Yeah. I wish we had a better uh, camera angle. Maybe we just should let him like actually walk out. Cause I can't even see him. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this game has like a heal. I'm gonna drop uh, an item. Can we even open? No, you can't open up inventory. Oh, library is currently locked. I okay. The library is used to explore spells you've collected as you travel the multiverse. Here you can upgrade spells and combine spells into powerful decks, allowing you to adapt to any challenge. Okay, the library is currently locked. Okay, maybe from here. Oh, store, here we go. All right, so we already have things that we can purchase. So you can buy booster packs, loadout, and a deck slot, okay? Um, so we have boosts and services. All right, so because, you know, this is an important thing for any game in terms of review for um, an action RPG, or just any game, is like, is it, if it's just costumes, character, rename, character, that's totally fine. Enemy rewards, is that like loot? Can we like read more increases experience spell page gold and relic fragment reward quantities from kills by 100 percent for the next 30 minutes okay so um okay that would definitely be in the category of pay for well it's technically potential power because i mean if you're getting extra xp too right yeah xp and relic fragment which is probably some type of like maybe crafting currency or something uh this is in, in the territory where i would consider you do get an advantage by paying but like in terms of costume slots rename uh, it's like i don't really mind uh so oh there's classes and packs okay so with the beast collar starter pack what is this is this just a cosmetic um a, it says a gear costume set okay like i said if it's just cosmetic i i really don't mind and i, I do like to support games so this would be something uh it would be interesting, let's see, um, to see if they add specific characters. I, I do believe they plan to add more characters in the game. And I also heard that you can get your other currency, like obviously there was that convert, right? But it had like some type of cap. If that cap is like, you know, oh, there's also a battle pass. All right, well, let's check this out. Um, can we like view the battle pass? All right, so level one, what's the, what's the max level? That's the important thing. Is it go to tier 100? We can't scroll, right? We have to click on everyone. All right, so you get a, Okay, so for the free battle pass, and you get a spell uh, page pack. I'm not sure what exactly that is. Uh, I'm, I don't know what a lot of these things are, but we'll keep note uh, what these are. So we get spell and infusions. Okay, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get a spell infusion, and we'll see how powerful that, that kind of thing is. But And then we have featured, which is basically all the stuff. All right, so that's like a brief overview in the microtransaction department. Um, again... For XP, you know, some games, that would matter a lot. In other games, you'll reach max level anyways, and it doesn't matter. Uh, but because you get some extra drops, that could actually affect things uh, if you want to min-max, right? Uh, I'm not sure what hurts more right now. My back or my ego. If she overheard the entire conversation, then she... Oh, this could be bad. If Oops. you focus okay. on the scar left by her planeswalk, you'll follow in her wake. Okay. Wherever it takes you, you must try to stop her. Please, just trust me on this, and I will see you again soon. All right, mission complete. The spark. Rewards. Okay, so we get all of these. Oh, that's cool. But so far, in terms of my impressions, I think the gameplay is, it feels decent. Um, the audio seems great as well. Um, in terms of the skill design, I, I do like that there's at least, as long as there's at least one that says like, when they're under 50% high health, it does double damage or something. At least there is more thought than just push all the buttons, right? Um, but we'll have to wait and see with more skills to get a better idea of it. But um, just trying to give you guys some feedback of like, how does it feel? Um, 
Planeswalker. Okay. I just deflect. I am like I said, I'm not gonna go over all the audio. I just wanna hop into the gameplay, pretty much. Wild energies. Okay, so we gotta follow. I like how there's like you know. Oh, it seems like there's a You'll little bit of issue with that thing over there. Zendikar I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> has a life of its own. Here. So can we go to our library now? Oh, okay. Can we? Oh, it's already in the deck. Okay. So I can remove these though, right? Or do you have to have minimum? Is there? Okay. It says deck one of zero, which is our current deck. So we have one creature and we have 12 points total. We have sorcery, enchantments, average cost. Okay. So you can rename the deck, you can trash the deck, and you can go to your different like spells, but we don't have any other ones. And we have types. Okay. So there's creature types, there's sorcery, and then there's an enchantment. I'm guessing that's like a buff. All right. So in terms of like um, the design, I, I really want to see being able to mix classes and that's where, again, um, I think the depth comes. And as well as, um, is there any inventory system? I, I know there has to be because I've seen like a screen. Oh, okay, here we go. Welcome to the map. All right. I just want to see like our inventory. Is there like a choose loadout? Okay. Oh, here we go. Loadouts. All right. uh, the loadout menu is used to manage all of the components from your planeswalker, including character abilities, artifacts, traits, and change your active deck. As you progress, you will gain more powerful artifacts, traits, and abilities. So be sure to check back off. Okay, oh, new spells. All right, awesome, I'm down for that. But I really wanna see the inventory system. Ah, okay, here we go. All right, so we don't have anything now, but just because I'm an action RPG guy, we have a helmet, we have a chest, we have gloves, we have, uh, it looks like two rings and a pair of boots, okay. Um, you know, I always feel like the more the better, whether you had shoulders, pants, um, you know, an amulet, uh, these are all things, but we also have artifacts. Uh, we don't have any, so I don't, I can't really speak on that yet. Um, so right now we have this one, it says equipped on it, but um, we will be able to unlock the other ones over here. Okay, so, oh, we have uh, level info. So as we progress, I'm guessing we get newer skills, just like you would. I'm not sure what max level is, but in terms of at least 30, I, I believe someone mentioned that that was max, but I'm not sure if that was in like a previous like uh, beta. This was a, like a, a long time ago, because like I said, I did a little bit of research when I, um, hopped into this, uh, or before I hopped into the game, like I've been following this game a little bit. So let's go to our uh, library and let's add that new card uh, to our deck. Uh, this one's new, so. Oh, it, it auto added it for us, okay, that's fine. But um, I think to make the game feel a little bit more active, now maybe there are skills that will do this, but like in a lot of action RPGs now, there's like giant like circles or cones where the enemy is doing some type of an attack and you would use some type of mobility, right? So you don't get hit by it. I think that that would be one thing that this game could add. Maybe that's just like, you know, hitting space bar or something. Oh, cool, we have a, a global chat as well. Now I've seen a lot of different interfaces where like all the things are on the right side. It almost looked, um, a lot of people mentioned this too. Um, like, is this a mobile game? And like, I, I don't know if this game plans to be a mobile game. Uh, Cause keep in mind, like if they want it to be on the Switch, that would also be technically mobile, right? Cause the Switch runs a, a mobile processor. Oh, that's, that's really cool. These like archers that jump up in the sky and start shooting down. But I have seen another interface of this game where like it looked like perfect for a thumb. Okay, we'll just, you know, we'll catch up to him. Like I said, we're just here to go over our first impressions. Not uh, a full walkthrough playthrough. But all we really know is uh, she's looking kind of bad. She has some type of magic thing that uh, we're probably going to try to get back. So I like that there is like a story. Some action RPGs, you kind of just go on. Uh, oh, it looks like there's a, there's a waypoint system. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not like how it hit for 666. Six, six, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not often I find myself yet. I am if this Okay. Let's progress. Tread carefully. Linger in the wrong place. But yeah, we'll do like we'll do at least another like five minutes here so I can do like a first half hour impressions, kind of a review of what I've played so far. Seems like the like his voice is like I can't I can't even hear it. Like the audio scaling, let me go to like settings into the like audio department. Voice volume is maxed out, the music volume, I maybe lower this like by one. 
Okay, let's go ahead and save that. I just felt like I couldn't hear the guy. Um, but in terms of like giving them some feedback, that's like the only thing I could say right now. And also, I'm not sure if, if they had the store and the cash shop like open, does that mean your stuff will carry over or are you just gonna get refunded or are you just gonna get it when the game comes out? Are things gonna reset? I honestly don't know. If I, if I do find out though, I'll, I'll update you guys in the comments. Let's check out the AI though, actually. Like, like I'm seeing like how it's attacking. Obviously we have minions, so it might attack the minions. I mean, it's the very beginning of the game, so I don't expect it to be very difficult. Is this some, okay, I think that's our ally over here doing some type of ability. But, it seems like they're just walking past. I wonder if like, since we're playing the Necromancer, we have less aggro, like they, they have priority targets on our minions. Honestly don't know. Uh, but the game seems fairly easy right now, which is, you know, it's totally fine. Especially as a free to play game, you don't want to scare people away. But I really want to get some items as drops, so hopefully we can, uh, just progress. You know, I'm just gonna zoom on by so we can get right towards the uh, end. So we can see what if there's like an old boss so we at least progress to the next area. But I like the different um, like biomes. Like this one definitely looks a lot different than what we currently uh, Do you hear that? have seen you so far. Closer to the goblin camp. And I like how like they have some things opacity goes down when you're like behind something. I wish it on that like first boss fight, I wish that did it as well. If you guys remember, like I couldn't see the boss. Um, that would have been a nice little thing to have. Yeah, I'm not sure what this little thing is. Um, but in terms of how smooth the game feels, right? Like I haven't really noticed any bugs, like where things aren't just working properly. Like, the only thing I I've noticed is like, some of the lips, when they were talking, didn't match up perfectly, but I, it, I... I don't... I don't mind that in action RPG. What I play for... What I would say most people play any action RPG for is more likely the loot. So, that, that would be the most important thing. I'm guessing he needs to, uh open that for us oh okay was that enemy untargetable or what's what's going on with this guy over here okay maybe he's the uh, the beast caller's ally well, it wants us to go kill something over here I hope it's not that we needed to kill every single like enemy on screen to progress but there is something that's marked over here so maybe that's one of the little like uh, points of interest this destruction is excessive, yeah. even for goblins. so like I'm not moving anything right now so like I guess this would be something that could yeah like it could kind of be fixed when you're stuck on something my guess is it's an object on top of what where you're supposed to path seems like it's very easy to like replicate but like and again it's not that big of a deal I'm just trying to like maybe give them some feedback over here but I'm also curious to know what you can buy with gold. Now, can you buy the packs in the store with gold? So what we have is gold. These cost Z, which I'm not sure what it stands for, but yeah, we'll just call it Z. And then on the minimap, can we adjust this? I'm used to hitting tab for minimap and like changing the size, but I'd say the minimap is pretty decent. It lets you kind of know where you're going. Um, and it's not like too far zoomed in, which is sometimes kind of a problem with action RPGs. But yeah, I definitely feel like the audio department, like he could, his voice could be upped a little bit more. I'm still curious to know what these little like things are. Like I said, my guess was instantly a waypoint system. All right, so we have to defeat something. Some big guy, all right. To the oh, this is actually, I think, the enemies. And I think the X maybe means that you're rooted. Okay, for indication. I thought it was maybe our, like, our little ally follower guy. And he was the one that was doing that. Oh, okay, so as it gets cleared up, that's, like, 
my guess is now maybe a checkpoint. Looks like we're having some uh, some frame issues. Um, Look, down there. I'm running this on a I've GTX 2060 Supers, but... Before. You know, sometimes games when they're in their beta optimization could use a little bit of work, but... I think we're gonna have to do like a another video uh, covering this game later down the line uh, when we can see the itemization because like I want to do like the first 30 minutes uh, of this game but I feel like I can't really give you guys like a, a really good review of um, the itemization at least not right now but all I can really say is in terms of like the gameplay it plays all right uh, looks like I'm, I'm a rubber banding oh there's also something that's loading on the top left. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's saying it's patching the file because the game lets you play as you like go or download as you go, um, which I wish I could just hit download everything, but it mentioned that it was going to download as we play it. I wish there was a, maybe an option. Maybe they will have it when the game fully releases to like not download as you go because that can fix maybe some of the latency. Um, or if the game feels unresponsive, it could be because, well, it's trying to download the game. <laughs> But I do know that you can play with people. Um, it's not just a solo game. Even though with like some action RPGs, people just tend to prefer to play it a certain way. So I'm guessing at this point, we just have to defend until this thing goes all the way up. Well, at least finish off uh, this little area. I feel like they could maybe give us a little bit more creatures to attack. Okay, here we go. It's a really cool looking skill. Or it has all those coffins come out and like in a, in a cross pattern. But you know, different classes can play completely different. But I would say for a necromancer, they did a pretty good job. You've got creating minions, you've got basically consuming minions to do extra damage. Um, one thing that I would like, maybe I could just learn the timing on it, is like how long do these last? Okay, 30 seconds, right? So uh, in terms of like min-maxing an RPG, we'd want to try to time that. I wonder what the cooldown is for it. So then that way I can explode them at the last moment, getting maximum value for them attacking and on top of that um, before they expire. But yeah, I'm at least finish off this little area I here. Some humanoid footprints. Let's keep going. I'm definitely notice, noticing a lot more like this the character like unusual. jittering. It's not really smooth not on this right. map. Like I said, it could be because it's downloading, so I won't like. See more footprints. We're on their trail. I won't be too upset about that, or at least not not right now. If the the actual game is like that, that definitely matters a lot. Because bugs can definitely mess up <laughs> an action RPG. That's for sure. Um, that skill, yeah, that skill looks awesome. Yeah, like I said, I think it just feels a little bit slow um, to just walk and just get rid of the, uh, or get out of the AoE. I'm guessing that's kind of like a health globe, so you don't really need to manage your heals, which is, I would say that's overall nice. Um, but I think one potion wouldn't be a, a bad idea either. Oh, enter arena. Oh, okay. Okay. Hedron there Matrix. To corrupt an entire hedron grid. We must distract them from the hedrons. Okay, so defend. Oh, we got hit by that. I like how the enemies are coming out of the side too. Like, in terms of like immersion. It makes him feel more realistic versus they just spawn, right? Thank you. 
Ooh, he's got that explosion. So I'm hoping we can get more uh, than... Like, right now we only have really two spells, like, in our bar at a time. So it looks like there's a cooldown to draw a new card as well. I think all, all it's really missing as far as like early game for me is just, just one mobility skill. Attack all of these. This is a champion. Last guy. Oh, unfortunately, we missed out on that one. Okay. I wonder why you have to select like things. I'm wondering if later down the line we're gonna have multiple different options, which would also be a really cool feature. That witch, but now we know that Merfolk are behind the corrupted hedrons. Okay. Um, oh, do we get a chest? Okay, now. Hopefully we can get at least one item so we can see what what do these stats do? Oh. Doesn't even like drop on the ground. Oh, the, oh, you just get like rewards like this. I wanted some equipment. Oh, okay, we have unrefined aether, we get gold and XP. Okay. I'm gonna go back and maybe we can check out some of these new skills as well. I hope you can also use skills in town. That's one thing I really do like. Okay, so now we're level two. And then we have, oh, today. So you can only get 50,000. But sometimes these numbers are so high, it doesn't really matter, except for the people that really want to min max. But let's see if we got um, any more things to mess around with. Um, with no artifacts, no equipment either. Okay, nope. Not, nothing to talk about yet, at least not within the first like half hour of gameplay. But anyways, that's basically the first half hour. We got the character uh, creation shown off, got some gameplay, and overall wrapping up my thoughts, uh, at least in the first half hour for the gameplay. Like I said, I would love to speak about uh, the customization, but I think that there needs to be a lot more for me to actually talk about that. And I'll basically update you guys later down the line on that. So if you guys are new here and you do want to see some more uh, magic uh, legends here, uh, like I said, um, if you guys want to subscribe, turn that bell. I will be uploading a little bit more later down the line uh, as I do really want to see what this game has to offer. And apparently if you all tap out, it uh, does not... Um, it does not have the audio still go. But overall, I think that the game feels pretty good for a, a beta. Um, it just needs to get a lot more smooth, but obviously with beta, that's totally fine. I feel like those kinds of issues are things that uh, definitely have a higher chance to be even fixed than versus complexity and itemization. But I like the idea in terms of the skills so far, but I'm really waiting to see like, how can we combine all these different colors of decks and being able to swap between characters? That'll be something to be looking forward to. But anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. If you guys have any questions on the game, I'll try to answer them. But I would say for a beta, it's looking pretty good so far. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm signing out. Peace.